<laughs> welcome back. Good to see you, Mark. How yeah, are you? great to see you. And welcome back to 2018 in the kitchen. And I've got a fantastic recipe to kick off the year. It's a really summery recipe, chicken and asparagus. And it's really Yum. easy as well. So basically, it's a tartless tart. So, okay. you know, so it's going to make it really fast. We're not going to spend time making the pastry, rest the pastry. We're just going to bake it without the pastry. So you can do it super fast. We're using smoked chicken as Yum. well. I like so that. That's, that's a finished product. But I, get a nice smoky flavour. I'm also going to interrupt, though. I see a bit of cheese here. I'm trying to be on a health Kick. So can you make it just a little bit healthier for me? What yeah. have you got? There you go. I'll take a little bit out. <laughs> Everything in moderation, you know. I mean, we need a little bit of flavour in there. I mean, you can cut down the, the quantities if you want. You can yes. probably, you know, you really take the cheese out or take it out and just because the eggs, you know, increase the egg content because that's what's going to set the tart and they're, you know, nice and healthy. Uh, and then we've got a Caesar salad and because you're doing all your fitness, I've yeah. made it slightly healthier. So instead of making a, a mayonnaise base, we're going to use a natural uh, low-fat yogurt to Brilliant. make the... Uh, uh, Caesar dressing, and it's going to be really fast as well. Nice work. Well, great. welcome back. Good to have you here. Hopefully you got a break. We'll talk more about that a little later on. Yeah, look, Mark, as we promised, last year you were going on about wanting new utensils. <laughs> We've gone one bed, and we've got a brand new cooktop and a brand new oven from Beko Home Appliances. How good is that? Oh, it's awesome. Isn't it's it great. stylish? Making nice. you run around the kitchen now. Oh, yeah, fantastic. we're going to be mixing up a good <laughs> storm here. We've got all the appliances that we need, and we've got the chef that we need, and the ingredients. So, a chicken and a spare Asparagus tart. Let's get going. What do we need to do? Right. So we're going to make the uh, we're going to make the filling for the tart. Yes. Okay. So it's got some spring onions here. So this is really nice. Keeps it nice and fresh and vibrant. If you use spring onions instead of just normal onions. Okay. So just warm the pan just lightly in there. Yep. And uh, we're just going to put a bit of butter in there. Oh, nice. Just a little bit. And you just want to sort of con you know control that heat. Keep it on a nice sort of like low to medium heat. Let that butter melt. That's what we're uh, after. We don't want to burn that butter. We want to keep those nice flavours like nice and soft and sort of rich. Okay. So that goes in. And give it a little bit of a season now. And it's going to cook faster as well using the spring onions. Nice. All right. And then I'm going to get some garlic in there. So I just crush it. I'm just going to sort of roughly chop it. You know, get just want to get that flavour in there. Mm-hmm. You know, you could thinly slice it if you wanted to as well, gives you a nice bit of texture. But rough's okay. Yeah, yeah, rough's all right. You know, just, just, uh, you know, you don't want to spend too much time on this. It's all about, it's all about getting it in, getting it in the oven, cooking it, and then enjoying it. Did you miss us when you were away cooking yes. for us on a daily basis? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I did miss it. Actually, it was, oh, uh, good. And uh, yeah. how are the girls? Did they have a good break too? Oh, uh, yeah. Beautiful children. Really good break. Really great Christmas. Had family over from the UK, so you know, we just relaxed and went around the country and spent a lot of time on the beach. So. It was fantastic. I went out to really Mark's good. house actually just before Christmas, surprise birthday party. Oh yeah. You were surprised too, weren't you? I was <laughs> very surprised actually. He had a great cake <laughs> um, that he didn't have to bake, which was a good thing. Or did you bake it? No, no, I didn't oh, bake didn't it bake and it. I didn't hate the food as well, so that's, that's oh, why I was yeah. surprised. <laughs> actually, it's the best birthday party to go to because he knows all the chefs around Auckland. So all his guests were chefs that bought their own food. It was a brilliant <laughs> birthday party. Um, but anyway, we're back into this kitchen. Right, so we're just going to keep that. We're just softening the onions. You don't want to. You good. don't want to keep cooking it so the onions go brown. You've taken it too far. So we still want that. Uh, you know that nice um, green colour. You can smell that garlic coming out now. Okay. Right. I've just got some a couple of eggs in there. Yep. Just season it again as well with a little bit of salt and pepper. So we're just seasoning just lightly all the way through. We've got some ricotta. Yum. So that goes in there. Yep. So this has just been out for uh, a little bit in room temperature and it just softens it slightly. So it just helps you um, just mix it all into there. This is a good one to get underway for 2018. So many people over the Christmas break kept commenting on how they were missing your cooking. Really? They needed inspired. They needed, you know, they needed to know what Mark was going to be doing each day so they could get dinner sorted. And this is the perfect way to get started, Mark. I love yeah. asparagus. And it's great. And, you, you know, asparagus in the supermarket now, you know, because we've been off air for so long, you know, we've sort of missed that sort of prime asparagus season or the New Zealand season. Um, so it's a great one for, you, obviously, next year when you get a... Uh, New Zealand asparagus, but we have got the American stuff just starting now in the supermarket, so you can still make this. Nice work. Right, so I've just put the asparagus in there, so just leave it leave it nice and chunky. Um, really fresh asparagus, it doesn't take long to cook, so we're only going to give that sort of like a minute or so, so you can keep um, tossing that. I've got um, the eggs in there, ricotta's in there, just a light seasoning, and I've got some Parmesan cheese in there. So I'm going to put it mostly, uh, well, two thirds of it in there, yep. mix it around into the mix, and then I'm going to sprinkle the rest over the top, so I'm okay. sort of almost going to gratinate it nice. as well. Yum. And splash of milk. Yep. And uh, I've got a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper in there, or you can use smoked paprika, anything you want, you know. If you don't want that nice little touch of heat, you don't need to put it in, but it just uh, just works really well with this recipe. 
and then we've got this beautiful smoked chicken, so finished product, so it just makes this recipe really easy and gives you a nice, you know, um, gives you a bit of substance to the, uh, the tart and it gives a beautiful sort of smoky flavour, but you can make this recipe without the chicken and then okay, it's a perfect cool. vegetarian one. Nice work. Okay, well all is smelling divine right now, I can't wait, we'll get to the next step to this chicken and asparagus tart in the Beko kitchen very soon. We are making our chicken and asparagus tart in the Beko kitchen, and Mark, what's next? We've got our asparagus, what else was in there, garlic well, yeah, and our spring onion. Yep, that's right. Yep. So, it's only been a couple of minutes cooking, so we'll just let it cool down slightly. We've roughly chopped the chicken. Yeah. I'm going to mix all that together. Nice. We've got our eggs, ricotta, parmesan yes. in there, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and then I'm just going to mix all that together. Mm. And then I've got a tart tin. So this is a great one, you know, you can make a big one. So you can just put it down on the table and everyone can just help themselves. And all we're going to do is just roughly line it with some greaseproof paper. Yep. Give this a really good mix. Stir in, pop it in, and then you've got a preheated oven, about 180 degrees. And then you're going to put it in for about sort of 15, 20, 25 minutes, depending on the size of your um, container. You know, right. this is this is quite a thin one, so it probably only be about 15, 20 minutes. Brilliant. It's all going to bake. It's all going to set. You're going to get a little bit of colour on top. Nice. And then a little bit more parmesan, just sprinkled on top. So you can boom, pop that in the oven. I can. Okay, good Lovely. work. Oh, look, flash new oven. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. All right. So we're going to do a little quick uh, Caesar salad. So normally traditional dressing for a Caesar salad, um, you've got mayonnaise. Yeah. So that's just another stage, um, you know, to make it yourself, or obviously you can buy bought one. But then I thought today, well, you know, it's all about sort of, you know, a fast, tasty, uh, quick lunch, and you can make this for any sort of dish. So natural yogurt. Yes. You can use low fat as well. Good. A little bit of Dijon mustard in there. Nice. Some lemon juice in there. I'm going to crush a little bit of garlic to put in there and some anchovies. Nice and easy. But if you're going to crush garlic like this yeah. and put it into a dressing. You just want to make sure you really chop it well by hand, okay? And you really sort of want to squash it because you don't want those big, uh, big chunks of garlic on there. Right, okay. You know, and you don't want to bite in there. It just wants to go in as a flavour. Ideally, um, just put a, pop it all in a blender. Okay. You know, if you're making uh, a big larger quantities, you can just pop it all in a blender, and then you don't even have to do this. So it's really, really easy. Nice. Um, you know, and this is great. You can make this at the beginning of the week and just store it in the fridge. You know, it should be fine for a week. So a few anchovies in there. It's a good, it's a good dinner to take for lunch, isn't it? I mean, a good, you know, meal to take for lunch. <laughs> a good dinner to take for lunch. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, stay back. Yeah, it's, it is actually. It's great. You know, you can get yeah. your get your little tub. You put all your salad in there. You know, don't dress your salad so it'll keep keep well when you take it to work, and then you just have a little pot of your dressing and just Brilliant. mix it all together, and you've got a really nice dressing and a salad for lunch. So anchovies in there, a little bit more parmesan in there. All right, you give that a good stir. Well, I'm a bit disappointed you put anchovies in there, but. The thing. Is, no, no, I know. <laughs> I know, but the thing is, is that sometimes I'm a little adverse to things like that, but then when you do it, Mark, and you put it yes. with other stuff, it, all of a sudden I'm experiencing new flavours, and I'm like, oh, that works really well, so. Well, yeah, that's it. You've got to, uh, my motto is, you've always got to try something once. That's true. Yeah. I right. have lived by that motto all my <laughs> life. <laughs> and it has been dangerous. <laughs> all right, so you're just going to take the outer leaves off your salad, yes. and then you can just arrange them in the bowl. You know. I mean, this is the sort of simplest form you can do. Yeah. You've got your salad leaves there. Brilliant. You know, did you season it? Did you uh, taste no, it? No, I, I didn't taste it. I need to. Have you learned anything in the last two years? It does need a little bit of salt and pepper. <laughs> well, there you go. So, <laughs> that's it. Drum it at home. You're always going to taste things. Taste it, season it. Did you just say if I learned anything in the last two years? <laughs> <laughs> no, obviously not. Um, okay, cool. Good work. Right, that's it. So you've got really nice, thick, chunky dressing. So that's just like, you know, that's as thick yeah. as a mayonnaise and as rich as a mayonnaise, but a lot healthier. You right. know, if you want it a little bit thinner, add a splash of water, a little bit more lemon juice, but it's quite nice, nice and chunky. And we're just going to put it over here. And this is a great way of eating it. You know, you've got these nice chunks of uh, dressing and then you've got these nice crunchy bits of salads, which will stay crunchy. You know, it's not going to get too soggy. Nice work. Thank there you, you go. so much, Mark. Tarts in the oven. Tarts we'll in cook the oven. that. Let it cool down. And then you can tip it out and then you can just portion it, eat it hot or cold, serve it with a salad. Bingo. Nice. <laughs> How'd you tap to? All right, so it's cooled down. Just uh, chop it up, portion it. You've got your salad there. Ooh, That's yum. great. Mm. Some lunch for you then. Yeah. Yeah.